quickly, but can you just um, say a few words about if you were to give advice to somebody now who is trying to take sort of first steps uh, into the world of digital classics, what, what are the kind of skills that you think would help them get to a place where they could do this kind of annotation? Are you thinking XML? Are you thinking some basic coding? Where, where should they head? Beyond reading, it's, reading, reading the text. Yeah, well, it's a great question. Um, whew. Yeah, XML is good. I can just about understand it, if not doing it myself. You know, same with TI, Text and Code mm-hmm. Initiative, mm-hmm. which is based on XML. Um, JavaScript seems to be a place where people are going. Python, all of these computing languages. So if you are interested in coding, mm-hmm. it's the kind of thing you think you'd be interested in, in doing, then do. But I want to also say that, you know, I'm not a coder. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I can understand what people are talking about. I can understand some of the challenges. So I, I know enough now to have a, a relatively intelligent conversation. Well, I'm not sure about intelligent, but anyway, yeah. a conversation with yeah. people. I think the key point is, well, two key points. First of all is that you um, do stuff you're interested in doing. Mm-hmm. So if you don't think coding's for you, but you still want to be mm-hmm. in this digital world, you know, don't see that as a barrier. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm working in this field and I don't know how to code. Secondly, and this has been the, probably the most thrilling aspect of the whole thing is that it's collaborative. Yeah. So you don't have to do everything. It's impossible for you to do it. Mm-hmm. You've got your Latin to learn. You've got your Greek to learn. You've mm-hmm. got all the scholarship to read. Yeah, and learn some German, learn some French. There's all this <laughs> other stuff. In your spare time. There. There's enough to right. do, okay? Uh, if you can code as well, that's great, but you don't have to. There are other people who can and are willing to work with you. And there are all these fantastic projects out there. Nearly every one of them is collaborative. Yeah. So it's a, it's a paradigm shift in the way we do humanities, and that's certainly something they talk about here in Perseus, not just in terms of doing research, actually, but you know, we have done this ourselves this week, where we introduced this um, annotation platform, we're Cogito, to some undergraduate students. Yes. And with it, when we had, you know, we gave a lecture, we then basically gave them 20 minutes to annotate sections of these texts mm-hmm. that we had uploaded, including Islamic texts. Mm-hmm. So we mm-hmm. had a kind of example case study. And then 10 minutes to try to geo-resolve. And we got thousands of annotations from these students in 20 minutes. I mean, it was mind-blowing and so exciting. Wow. And it, and it was real research. Yeah. So And so it's not just a matter of... Um being exclusive, right? This is about yeah. intergenerational. This is about being welcoming, that's about right. being inclusive. That's so, right. you know, that's the um, that's very much been the strategy of CHS, the Center yeah. for Studies, where I work for many, many years now. Um, so, and I know that Perseus is the same. I can see that your projects are the same. So, everyone is so appreciative that you're taking that approach. It makes a huge difference. Uh, well, I'm doing it because it's fun. Yeah. And, 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 it's, and it's really, yeah, and the particular public aspect of it yes, is yes. really important to get people involved. Right, the general interested. public, right? That's Citizen right. scholars. That's right. right. To use uh, to use Greg's words. Yeah, yeah. Greg's words. Right. Okay, Elton, thank you so much for taking time. I so thank appreciate you so it. Much. Thank okay. you. Take care.